In this video, we're going to compare and contrast Oakland versus the Sacramento area. We're going to talk about home prices. We're going to talk about things to do. Let's get into the video right now. And also, guys, if you are thinking about moving to the Sacramento area, we're going to be dropping a whole bunch of content on this channel like we always do. And we're going live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. just for you. So like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video right now. Now in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the differences between like Oakland and Sacramento. And if you're coming out here to see an A's game and you live in Oakland, you might wanna call my team so we can show you some amazing things in the Sacramento area that might be able to benefit you and your family. Okay, let's get into the six things that you guys gotta know about Sacramento. Okay, so number one, let's talk about location and traffic. Okay, so Sacramento is in Northern California. It's a little bit, maybe about an hour, 30 minutes away from the Bay Area, two hours, depending if you come in from San Jose. Um, it's really, really nice the fact that we have these areas like, you know, we got the Carmichael's, we got the Arden Arcades. We got some highway, um, we got some stuff going on in the 50 right now, some construction, so it's a little bit slower there. But for the most part, our traffic is not even anything compared to over here in Oakland. Oakland is, like I said, the location of Oakland right across the bridge from San Francisco, but it's got areas like Arinda, like Lafayette, like, you know, Berkeley even. And a lot of people are doing the commute back and forth from San Francisco. And it's just like, it's a nice location by the water. Like I said, it's got some heavy hitters like Arinda for appreciation and everything too. But the main thing about Oakland is it's kind of in the middle of traffic. It's in the middle of people going to Berkeley, going to San Francisco, going to Arinda. And whenever I've been driven to Oakland or through Oakland, it has been a maze to try to get somewhere. Now, if you're thinking about going to the Oakland airport, is it a lot easier than SFO? Absolutely. But but it's still very, very, I don't want to say confusing, but I want to say like there's a lot of merging of freeways and it's very, very slow, slow traffic. So as far as location, I love the location of Oakland being close to San Francisco, but honestly, guys, I've done that before and the traffic to get to San Francisco is just a whole nother thing. And my guess is a lot of people in Oakland are like, you know, well, we don't even go to San Francisco that much because the traffic is a little bit of a bear. Now, if you want to get over to like Marin County, it is still kind of a cluster to get over there as well, too. The free Freeways aren't just, they're just very, very trafficy. And I've never really gone to Oakland or that whole area where when the freeways have actually been light. It's usually packed and it's usually not a fun vibe at all. Like I said, Sacramento does, we do have our traffic, but guys, there's just no way in comparison, our traffic is just so much lighter than it is in the Bay Area. Now, as far as location, yeah, Sacramento is a little bit further away. Maybe we're about maybe an hour and 20 minutes from Napa, but we're also got Tahoe super close by. Like an hour and 20 minutes, you can go skiing, you can go boating during summertime, and we have that going. We also have fledgling wine countries and Amador as well too. So as far as location, yeah, I get it. You're in Oakland, you're close to everything too, but you're kind of in the middle of everything, and traffic is not a fun thing, especially if you live in Oakland. California. Number two is growth potential. And this is a huge one. If you're going to buy a house, if you're going to invest in an area, you want to know that the growth potential, there's going to be new schools, new development, all that kind of stuff happening because that's how houses appreciate growth potential. So let's look at Sacramento. Now in Sacramento, you're going to say, well, it doesn't look like much right now too. But if you look at it right here, guys, Folsom, there's going to be about like 16 thousand to thirty thousand brand new homes being built there there's gonna be at least three new schools being thrown up there there's gonna be a new commercial development everything too so Folsom is booming okay so then you're thinking to yourself wow well, that's just Folsom right no 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 then you got Elk Grove Elk Grove's another huge player too so you got a whole bunch of houses happening probably the same amount of houses as Folsom popping out out there as well too and then where else you got it oh well you got some more houses and communities and all that kind of stuff built in Rancho as well too so you got all these places and and I'm not even talking about Galt yet. Galt, we got new homes as well, too. So you got new homes, new communities, new commercials, new everything, new commercial developments, new everything popping around all throughout Sacramento. Sacramento is a in a huge growth spurt right now. I mean, we're seeing so many houses and people from the Bay Area, probably just like you watching this video, moving out here, getting a house, getting lower interest rates because there's a lot of buy downs with new home builders and they're moving out here and they're benefiting from these brand new schools that they're putting in the Sacramento area. Not only that, an extra bonus is in the Sacramento County area, we have actually the Sacramento Municipal Utility District, which is basically half the price of electricity that you're paying with PG&E. So your electricity bill is going to be half as much and you could probably end up buying double the square foot house that you'd be having in Oakland. So we love it. 
in Sacramento. A lot of people are benefiting from that specifically. And let's move over to Oakland. Now, Oakland, guys, like I said, I love the location close to San Francisco, close to Rind and everything too. But the one thing Oakland does not have that Sacramento has is land. There's nowhere where you're going to be putting in a whole bunch of new homes, new schools, and everything, too. Oakland just does not have the land. There's no land additionally like there is in Sacramento. Guys, in Sacramento, we have just, like the Carpenter said, just begun. We have so much land, and we can do so much building out here in Sacramento that as far as growth potential, it's just no contest. Number three is jobs. This is from talent.com. And these numbers are for the 2024. Now, the average salary here in Sacramento is 48,754, and in Oakland, the average salary is boom, not that much higher. I know. And for the house prices, it just makes you kind of wonder, right? Now, here's the thing about jobs, guys. And if you're looking at this video and you're maybe coming in from Oakland to see an A's game and you're thinking maybe Sacramento is a player for me. Like the thing about I love about the Sacramento area and something I always talk about, too, is like the Bay Area is super tech heavy. If tech does something, if it goes down, everyone suffers in the Bay Area straight up. Now, in Sacramento, we have a little diversification jobs. We have healthcare, We got Dignity, Kaiser, uh, Sutter Health, we got like Mercy, we got Kaiser's every street corner, guys. But it's not only for the medical jobs, like the nurses, the doctors, there's also administration jobs, computer jobs, and everything, infrastructure jobs, right? Then all of a sudden you switch gears and we do have tech. We got Intel, we got Micron, we got Oracle, we got HP, we got that too. We got Apple and we have Amazon also. So we have some big players in that space as well too. Then we have employment, guys. All those schools that I mentioned to you about a minute back, all of those schools need infrastructure jobs, teaching jobs, and all that kind of stuff as well, too. Then we have the big player. And this is the huge one. Guys, we are the state capital of California. So there are a lot of state jobs here in the Sacramento area that a lot of people are benefiting from. So as far as, the, yeah, you know, you're making a little bit more money in Oakland, California. But guess what, guys? Our job diversity, especially if we're heading to a recession, is not a really bad place to be if you're someone who's looking for stability growth, like I mentioned before, and good, good, good diversification of jobs. Number four is weather. Oakland, you have us there. Your weather is better seasonally than in Sacramento. You don't have those huge, huge hot summers like we have in Sacramento. Now, the one caveat is the fact that like you're kind of in the middle of like an urban kind of area. Yeah, yeah there's the Oakland Hills and there's everything like this. But in Sacramento, a lot of people are moving here specifically for that resort style living. Remember I mentioned SMUD before, how PG&E is uh, your electricity and SMUD is ours? Well, here's the thing, guys. If you move to the Sacramento area and let's say you don't have a pool, you can blast that AC during the summer and your bill's not even going to be close to what you're paying in the Bay Area. Now, for us who love our pools, love our outdoor activities, I'm telling you guys, during summertime, I'm usually throwing something on the grill and I'm in my pool for about until probably like 9, 1030 at nighttime. I'm entertaining the family. We're throwing on the stereo and we're having a great time outside. One of the things about growing up in Marin County was the fact that a lot of my friends had pools. They were freezing cold pools. My pools with solar on my roof stays about 84 all summer long, even at 10 o'clock at night. So one of the things that you're going to notice is, yeah, in Oakland is a lot more chill. It's a lot more relaxed as far as the weather goes. They don't have those hot summers like we do in Sacramento. But I will say this, enjoying a swimming pool in an area where the weather is a little warmer is my cup of tea. The other thing too is for winter and fall, we definitely see the seasons change, the leaf color, all that stuff too. And we really do enjoy it. During winter, it does get a little colder, but we are close to Tahoe. So I'm good with that. Okay, so number five, let's talk about what you can get in Sacramento against what you can get in Oakland. I pulled up two listings that are currently on the market in both areas, and we're going to go over them a little bit. This one is in Sacramento. It actually just had a price cut as of, I think, today. Look at the curb appeal. Look at this house. Look at the entrance. Really, really beautiful house. Boom. When You know, really nice. A little bit more of a tract home. That's what you're going to find a lot in Sacramento, but it's really, really in great shape. Really nice, nice front yard, the whole nine yards. And here we go. This is the one in Oakland. Boom. Beautiful. A little bit more of a custom home, right? You got the stairs, so, you know, you're lugging up to Costco a little bit more. But it's a beautiful house. I love the grays. I love the red door and everything, too. Interior is awesome as well, too. So now let's kind of look at exactly the price points, right? That's what we're all getting at. So, okay, the price point on this one is, look at that. Look at that. You're getting so much for that price per square foot is absolutely crazy. And this one actually had a price cut. 759 guys. 
Okay, now you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, I'm not that blown away. All right, let's look at the one in Oakland. Look at the price point on that one. So as you can see, guys, your money goes a whole lot further here in Sacramento. And this is like I just picked two listings from Zillow to kind of show you guys a little bit of the prices that you're going to be paying in either Oakland or in Sacramento. Now, are you going to find cheaper houses in Oakland? 100%. Are you going to find cheaper houses in Sacramento? 100%. Um, I'm just giving you a little bit of an example of like what you're looking to spend in these various areas. In Sacramento, the bang for your buck is one of the main reasons why people are moving to Sacramento, right? Now, because so many people have moved into Sacramento. Sacramento is growing like never before. So that's one of the things we absolutely love about the Bay Area people coming in here. You're going to see the price you get, price per square foot, in Sacramento compared to Oakland. The other thing you're going to see is the idea that Sacramento is on a huge growth spurt. Like I said, new schools, new kind of commercial developments, everything is happening here in Sacramento. So as far as you guys go, maybe people in the Bay Area are thinking about moving to Sacramento, you got to ask yourself, where do you want to put your money and where do you see the most growth potential? In my opinion, that's Sacramento. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the health of the Sacramento real estate market and the health of the Oakland real estate market. Now, as you can see here, Sacramento housing trend is the medium sales price in Sacramento has increased. So we've actually gone up. That means that homes are selling for higher than they did last year. And what we're seeing here is that number of homes have actually decreased. More people are kind of keeping their homes and more people are married to their 2.75 interest rates and are happy enough with Sacramento. So they're saying to themselves, we're not going anywhere anytime time soon. That's a healthy housing market. Now let's look at Oakland's over here. And these are stats that are pulled from Redfin. So don't kill me for the statistics. These are just what I pulled off the internet from Redfin. Thank you, Redfin, for this. Okay, so medium sales price here in Oakland has actually decreased. Year over year, it's actually decreased in Oakland. Okay, and over here, the amount of homes have actually increased. So you don't really have to be a rocket science to figure this out, is the fact that more people are selling their homes in Oakland, even though they probably refinanced at a 2.75 or bought at a 2.75. So this is kind of a little bit of a snapshot to show you the difference between our Sacramento real estate market and our Oakland real estate market. So this is kind of what it looks like. And like I said, I pulled these stats from Redfin and this should tell you just a little bit of the health of both markets. Like I said, these are statistics. You can use them as you will to kind of come to your own conclusions. But this is what I saw with this. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions regarding this video, or if you're someone maybe in the Bay Area who's thinking about moving to the Sacramento area, reach out to our team. We'd love to work with you. We're one of the top relocation teams in the area, the Mark McDonough team at Caldwell Banker Realty. And for anyone out there who's actually thinking about maybe like making the jump, selling their home, we also do great home evaluations as well too, 100% free. Guys, hopefully you enjoy this video again. Like, comment, subscribe. Until the next one, this is Mark. I'm out of here.